Alright, All right, folks. Trapping season's coming fast, and it's time to start thinking about making some lure. So, what I've got to start this with is a pounder of ground beef and two eggs. Port mason jar works well for this. Okay, now stir that all up. Lovely looking, isn't it? Now, if you were a coyote or a fox or a wolf, you would probably think so. Okay, now, mason jar lid generally goes on this way. Put it on upside down. That'll allow the gases to escape out of this without sealing it too tight. On top of there, take a piece of paper towel, and put it over the top of this, and then screw your lid on fairly loose. You want it snug, but not tight like that. You back it off a good, I don't know, half a turn or so. Then pull your paper towel down and put a rubber band over it. And that'll keep the flies from getting inside. They can't get to it in any way really. To finish this off and make it 100% fly proof, I just put a five gallon bucket over the top of it. Here's two other jars worth I made this morning. So now I have three quarts of going to be lure. Put the bucket over the top. The flies can't get down underneath the edges and if they do they can't get inside the jar to ruin your bait. Um, another easy to get ingredient for my trapping lure is that uh, it might be hard to undo this with one hand. There's roasted uh, horse hooves. And this stuff, you, you burn it down until it's a powder. It's got a real heavy uh, kind of burnt hair smell. So then I crunch it up and put it into make it into a powder and mix that in with the trapping lure as well. Um, I think it's more of a curiosity scent than anything else, but the uh, the dog type animals, coyotes, fox, wolves, they all like that. So there's all sorts of stuff you can use in trapping lure that doesn't really cost you anything. And being that I've got horses and mules, I've got to uh, trim their feet anyway. In fact, they're overdue. I need to get after them. Well, anyway, just another kind of a tip, I guess. Okay, time to finish up this trapping bait. Uh, right now, what I have is a pound of hamburger, a third of a can of evaporated milk, and uh, two eggs. And to that, I'm going to add, yeah, if I can get this door open. Uh, okay, where'd my spoon go? To that, I'm going to add a little bit of beaver caster. Uh, 
and mix that in good. It is a vile smelling thing. Today is the, I think about the 12th. And uh, I started this on the, the 6th of August. So it's been roughly a week, six days. Um, it's been swelling up some, so the uh, sodium benzoate will help preserve it and keep that from happening. Okay, so to that, now I have a pound of hamburger, two eggs, a little bit of beaver caster, a third of a can of powdered milk and then a, just one spoonful of this uh, roasted, crushed and powdered uh, horse hoof. Mix that in. So then, just one good spoonful of this sodium benzoate, I'm not sure how you say that actually, but what this is, is it's a preservative that will stop the rotting process of the meat and uh, keep it from blowing up the jar under pressure. That you want to really stir in good. spoon so should probably be enough but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put two just to be safe I sure don't want this thing to bust the jar Concoction, a witch's brew of sorts, but canines will really like this. This should be a pretty good bait, and it's fairly cheap. It didn't really cost me a whole lot to make. Um, okay, see that jar? I don't know. The lighting in here is pretty bad. Uh, it's still got, I don't know, an inch or so of room to go in there. So I'll top that off with some pure glycerin and what that does is it makes it kind of sticky, hold together good and it also helps to uh, keep it from freezing. And with a glass jar you definitely don't want it to freeze and you know frozen bait doesn't have as much smell to it either. So. Uh, uh, the glycerin is pretty important. You can use salt and other things too, but glycerin is really the best stuff to use. I'll just put that, mix that in really well. or the lid back on it. I think I'll cork it off a little bit loose for now just to make sure that it's not going to swell up and break my jar. But but now I have, as soon as I do these others the same way, I'll have three quarts of uh, trapping lure, trapping bait that 
really didn't cost me much of anything and it should work pretty well the uh, it's more of a kind of a, a food based curiosity scent and uh, one of these jars I don't have any as soon as I either catch or find a roadkill skunk I'll put a little bit of skunk essence in there as well and the other two I think I'll just leave just as is but that's all there is to it. it. You don't really have to buy expensive lure and bait. A lot of this stuff you can make yourself. The, the commercial stuff might be a little bit better, but this stuff works just about as well. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and good luck on your trap line this fall. Uh, I wish you well. I hope you catch a pile for prices are down but it's still fun to get out and get after them and the, the management of it is about as important as anything so anyway have fun be safe and see you next time thanks for watching please subscribe